Welcome back. Sports is next with Olumide Makoli. Thank you, Amarachi. Hello and welcome to Sports News. The Agege Stadium has hosted its first round of matches today as football action continues in the Lagos preliminaries of the Channels International Kids Cup Season 11. Six games recorded a total of 15 goals from the center. The start of this one, yes, that is the whistle and the kicking us off Unilag Staff School. They are in white and gray. Kicking off proceedings are the champions of the maiden edition, the University of Lagos Staff School, up against Supreme Education Foundation. Perhaps the closest they've come uh, to the goal mount of uh, their opponent's self, right? The ball is in the box, miscued there. Can you get a break? I think that's a penalty. And also concentrating Battle of Wits right here as he steps up. Captain Fantastic, Oparachi Diabiri, got a brace to take Unilag to the next round. The Channels International Kids Cup, and it goes the way of University of Lagos Staff School. Left wing, anyone to aim at in the box, two outside the box, can you find any of them? He can't. He still holds on to possession. He's surrounded by three yellow shirts, past one, past two. There's one to aim at in the box. He's all alone with the keeper, he takes the control, and that's brilliant defending. But the rebound is in. They couldn't clear the line, Steph. Peace for defending. In our stars and um, the boys from Salahuddin do us the honors of the kickoff uh, of this game. My Next up uh, is African Church Primary School from Alimosha. There's a Salahuddin Primary School from Ikorudu. He crossed in there, can he still make control of the ball? Then they know about it. He passes to Wu. No one back and a shot there. But the goalkeeper, oh, he couldn't hold on to it. And that's the first goal of the game. Osiri Usman's brace did the magic for African Church. African Church with a chance, the ball bouncing around in the box. Can he get that? It's a wonderful goal. An amazing strike. Mind builders and St. Joseph played a thrilling match after a marathon shootout. A winner emerged. And this is it, and it's a goal. Mind builders at the advantage yet again, and he will lose it all entirely if he can't get this kick in for 6 0, and he strikes the bar. Oh my word, it's the end, and it's mind builders going through to the next round. Dunman records the biggest win of the day, thrashing Ralph Williams 4 0. It's now eight teams remaining. Action will resume on Monday, and it will be intense as teams continue to play for a ticket to the international finals. And he makes me eat my words right there and there. It's a brilliant free kick for the boys from Salahuddin. Nigeria and Saudi Arabia under 20 squads will face off in Vienna on Sunday evening as both teams continue to perfect their preparations for this year's FIFA World Cup in Poland. With both teams having qualified for the FIFA Under-20 World Cup, Sunday's encounter has even higher significance. The match will take place at the Sportschule Lindebrunn in Vienna, capital of Austria, according to the team administrator, Aliu Ibrahim Lawo. Both teams were scheduled to clash in a friendly in Jeddah earlier in the year, but unforeseen events led to the cancellation. Liverpool midfielder Naby Keita is out for at least two months with a thigh injury suffered in the Champions League defeat at Barcelona. The Guinea international will miss the rest of the season and is doubtful for the Africa Cup of Nations, which starts on June the 21st in Egypt. Keita was forced off after 24 minutes in the first leg of the semi-final at the New Camp, for which the Reds lost 3-0. He will also miss the return leg at Anfield, as well as Liverpool's remaining two-leg league games against Newcastle and Wolverhampton Wanderers. France's women's national team coach Karine Diaffe has released the squad list for the 2019 FIFA World Cup. Current captain and midfielder Amandine Henri returns to lead the list of 23 players which include fellow midfielder Gitan Tenny. Eight other players are also returning from the previous World Cup including attackers Eugenie Lo Summer and Kedia Tudiani, defenders Wendy Renard and Amel Madri, and goalkeeper Sarah Buhadi. One notable omission from the list was P. 
PSG forward Marie Antoinette Catoto, who was the top goal scorer in the French Women's Football Championship with 22 goals. That's it on Sports News. And on entertainment news, two leading music acts in Nigeria quit their record labels. Here's Bayawa Gundele with details and more. Money Fangs, here are top stories on entertainment. Multiple award winner Tiwa Savage has just penned a contract with global music giant Universal Music. This musical relationship brings an end to a seven-year reign at the Don Jazzy-led music imprint Mabin Records. Don Jazzy posted a farewell and a thank you message on his Instagram page where he called his time with the singer amazing. In a similar story, Extreme Music has announced the departure of Sonora singer Simi from a music imprint. In a segment issued by the Lagos Bay's record label, the singer has sent out a recording contract with the label and both parties have decided not to renew the terms of engagement. She joined the music imprint in 2014 and released two albums, including the recently released Omochali Champagne under the label. Singers Yinka Davies and Gloria Ibru, South African-based multi-instrumentalist Hunle Ayo and acclaimed dancer Kathy headlined a jazz music appreciation event in Lagos as the world celebrates the World International Jazz Day. The event, which was hosted by the United States Consul General John Bray at his residence, features live jazz music performances and music from other genres with strong jazz influence. That's it from me tonight. Thanks for watching. The main news returns shortly. And the main news again. The Nigerian Army today announced the commencement of the third phase of the operation to eliminate banditry and insurgents in the northeast and northwest in an operation tagged Harbin Kunama, meaning Scorpion Sting in English. Also today, the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, inspected work on the second Niger Bridge. He restated the resolve of the government to complete the project before the end of President Buhari's second tenure. And at least two people were killed today as Cyclone Fani made landfall in India. It was one of the most severe storms to hit the region in recent years. That is the news attempt tonight. Thanks for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.